I'm going to show you two different ways to bulk add content to your Joomla website. The first one is OS Content by Joomla Shack. It is currently available in the free version for Joomla 3 and 4, the pro version for Joomla 3, but I'm sure the version for Joomla 4 will be available very soon. In addition, Joomla Shack has some excellent documentation on OS content, including the step-by-step -step instructions. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here I am in a test website. I'm going to go to Components, OS Content Pro, and I'm going to go ahead and create some categories. Let me go ahead and enter the information. You see category title will automatically generate this from the title, which in general is what I want to do. And then I can choose the access level if I want this to be um, content that's protected by a certain level of user. I can also go ahead and choose a parent item so I can build a hierarchy of content. In addition, I can go ahead and link it to a menu and the menu can have certain uh, types. Let me go ahead and fill this data. So I've entered six category titles and I really don't want to do anything other than the default uh, features here. And so let's go ahead and create them. Choose Save and Categories successfully created. Let's go ahead and take a look over here. Take a look at our categories and there they all are. I can see my original uncategorized category it has four articles in it and these of course that I just created have none. Let's take a look at creating some mass content. So that would be articles within our categories. Let me go ahead and autofill some information here. So I've added some fake content here and I want these articles to be published right away. And I want them to be available to the public. I am the author. I don't want them to go in category and categorize though. Let's go ahead and choose one of the new categories we just made, category two. Don't want to link it to a menu. So it looks like we're good to go. Our articles are created. Let's take a look. And I can see over here in our categories, we now have these five articles that we just created. The next resource I'm going to look at is called CFI, Import Export Joomla Custom Fields. Now, it probably does a lot more than what I have already tested it on, but for me, it worked perfect to uh, import new data. Uh, let's take a quick look at their website, Joomla Line, and it has some excellent documentation here, uh, as well as the opportunity to download it as free currently just available for Joomla 3, but I'm of course hoping uh, that there'll be some advancement there as well. Back over here at our website, I have installed it. And now what happens is when I go to our articles list, you'll see that I have a new button here called Import Export CSV. When I click on it here, it will allow me to select a category I'm going to choose the category we just uploaded those articles to and export it. And so, the, and then the, here is the import as well. So let's go ahead first and export these articles just so we can get the formatting correctly. I'm going to go ahead and save it. So I saved it to my desktop and I'm now opening it with a LibreOffice spreadsheet and I'm having it separated by semicolon. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's zoom it around here so you can see. And pretty standard stuff. I have the article ID, the category ID, article title, language, intro text, full text, and additional custom fields. I'm gonna go ahead and add some articles to this category. Okay, so here in my spreadsheet, I've added some more information. Uh, I've added uh, more articles with different, of course, titles and 
and text, but the important thing would be to have different titles. And you'll see that I have included some in the uh, category number 14, which is category two, what we're calling the friendly name. And you can see here I have them in uh, category 15, which is uh, category 03, the friendly name and 16 of course. You can also see that on one of my original articles I've added some more text, so I've changed it, and that I have no article IDs uh, that are not included on the site. So these will be new content and this is the content that we just downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and save it and save it of course as a CSV text file and then we're going to go ahead and uh, upload it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and upload the changes that we made to this uh, export and for this configuration I am unticking this box and I'm going to drag and drop my file right here and you can see in just a few seconds there really it imported uh, 18 records there was five updated articles and 13 new articles found so article 2 and you can see I have the more text here. So depending on uh, what articles you need to add, you can decide if the first or second method is going to work best for you.